Today I want to show you how to use frames in DriveWorks Pro projects. What better way to do that than to actually use a DriveWorks project? In this particular environment, we want to see how we can use frame controls inside of DriveWorks Pro to just make for a better experience for your end users. So let's talk about what are frames. Well, they're just ways on a single form to look at one or multiple forms. Why would you use them? It's just to make the interface cleaner, mostly for the administrators. It just simplifies everything. It also allows you to go with some a concept of maybe a single home page, such as I have here, with my blue border and my icons. Those are all on my home page, and that I didn't have to copy and paste them on every single form. I just use them to navigate to different frames. So it naturally, just as you see on my screen, I can get rid of my standard form navigation buttons, the next, previous, release, all that fun stuff, and just use the buttons that I want. And lastly, uh, it's kind of on the line of the cleaner interface, we don't have anything stacked on top of each other. It's really common to say, if this is true, I need this type of uh, question asked. If this other thing is true, I need this uh, different question asked uh, to my end users. And a lot of people end up just stacking them top of each other. So how do you set these things up? Well, you need to have multiple forms. That's number one. And then on your primary form, you create a frame control and either just point it to that secondary form or set up some type of logic to say, I don't know which form to show until you answer this question, or you use buttons that actually use spec macros. That's what I'm using in this case, are spec macros to navigate through my form and to even cancel it. Let's swap hats and look at an example. So in your training class, you probably set up some type of form like this, where when you toggle this checkbox, it's actually controlling the visibility of a lot of these different controls. Because we actually have stacked on top of each other a bunch of more or less duplicate pieces of information. If it's an existing company, we select them. If it's a new company, I have to type it in. So these are all stacked on top of each other. I don't like that, let's clean this up. So back in our form navigation, we need the additional forms. So here I'm going to just create new existing, you can call them anything you want, it won't really matter. We're going to take these, which are existing customer pieces of information, cut them, and paste them onto the existing form going to change some formatting just to make things look better by setting the background of the subsequent forms and the background of the controls to be transparent. We'll see that again here. Cut all of the new controls, paste them onto the new customer form, change the background color for those controls change the background color for that form. Now I have no buttons here. So let's create some buttons. I'm going to create a frame control that will allow us to see the form that we want. The name doesn't really matter again. So as I place it on the screen, I now am not exactly sure what size to make it. So let's point it to a single form and we can see that just looking through the preview, it's not quite big enough. So as I resize this to make sure everything shows up, I can now size it down, looks good. If I want to switch over to the other one to make sure it still looks fine, I, I can. So great, everything will fit on here now, but I don't want to hard code this frame to point to just one form. I need, I need so, to build some logic in. So we will double click on the gray orb to make it dynamic. And now we can build a rule. I just want a simple if statement 
So I'm going to type it to say if our new customer details checkbox, if it's true, then I need to see the form called new. If it's false, I need to see the form called existing. Naturally, this works great because it simply have a checkbox, true or false. If you had some other more complex logic or some radio buttons, uh, naturally the rule might get a little more interesting. But here I can now select new customer details. My frame points to the new form. Or if I turn it off, my frame points to the existing form. And there we go. Very simple frame navigation. I'm not actually changing forms, uh, but I'm using this frame to point only to the information I want. The end users don't know. They actually would have no idea that I had it point, had a, even had a frame on here. Uh, they would simply see if I turn on the checkbox, I get to the data I want. Well, I hope this has been useful for you guys, and I look forward to the next video.